Today on my show, that's about Android. Is Motorola going to unveil the successor to the Moto X on May 13th in London? We hope. Is LG gonna unveil the G3 on May 27th? We hope. Is Sprint going to buy T-Mobile? We really don't hope for that. And check it out, it's the Amazon phone that we don't need, but for some reason, it's looking kind of sexy. Am I wrong on that? Does it look kind of, kind of hot? What's happening, my Android friends? Welcome to Friday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I am Dave, of course, your Mandroid host. It's good to see your face. What's up, guys? Nice to see you. You know, I'm making eye contact, kinda. Anyways, I appreciate you guys clicking in. If you're new to The Mandroid Show, basically what I do is I talk about Android. I think you already gathered that, so why am I not talking about Android? Let's talk some Android. May 13th. Hopefully I said that at the beginning, because there was some confusion. I kept, I, I actually wrote our post and I remember seeing 13th and then I saw 14th and it was like back and forth. But it's May 13th in London. Motorola is hosting an event where they most likely are going to unveil some new devices. Everybody's wondering, is it going to be the Moto X Plus One or pro probably the Moto E? We've been hearing about that, another budget friendly Moto X-ish phone. Only time will tell, they're kind of being hush hush about it. Let me know what you guys think. Are you looking forward to seeing what they have, the successor to the Moto X? Are you excited for it? Are you excited for a more budget-friendly? I mean, I don't know how they can get even more budget-friendly than the Moto G, but apparently they're going to try. And then LG says save the date for May 27th, and it's, if you could see that, see the G in there, it looks very much like, you know, well, like a G. Pretty exciting stuff. We might get two more flagships when we already got, what, three already this year? Four, actually. We got what? Galaxy S5, M8, Oppo, and then OnePlus One. Yeah, <laughs> who got an invite to OnePlus One, huh? <laughs> Bad. <laughs> and here we go again, guys. Yes, we actually heard this back, what, in like December, November, December, end of last year. We heard some rumors that Sprint was thinking about buying out T-Mobile. Should be the other way around. Well, according to Bloomberg, SoftBank owns about 80% of Sprint, and they are ready for discussions about a you know possible merger with T-Mobile. And it's like, no, we don't need you. I mean, really, it should be the other way around, right? I mean, T-Mobile has really changed the game. They just whoa, and Sprint, they have the Framley plan. Framley. Not to mention their service kind of blows and T-Mobile, like, eh, well, it's pretty damn reliable. I got LTE a lot of places where I go and it's pretty damn good. And then you got John Legier, who's, I think he made more money last year than any of the other CEOs. So, I mean, and then this is kind of leads into like, if this does happen, John Legier will still be the CEO of whatever this is going to be called. Sprint Mobile? I don't, doesn't even T-Rint? It's... No, I can't. There's no even no. Let me know what you guys think, though. Are you guys getting sick of hearing about this? I mean, Sprint buying T-Mobile, it should be the other way around, because Sprint's just, eh, it just seems like T-Mobile is up here now. Eh. Let me know what you think. And, of course, we ran out the show today. Check this out. <laughs> yeah, it's that Amazon phone that we really don't need, but Amazon thinks you need it. It actually looks pretty damn sexy. These are renders that just showed up today, and I'm like, whoa. Whoa! Now apparently, according to what we were hearing out there, this is going to be exclusively on AT&T on what they're calling a prime data plan. So I'm guessing, you know, books and movies and I don't know, Amazon, AT&T, they're teaming up for something crazy. It's pretty interesting and I, like I said, it looks like a pretty phone. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's pretty phone? Do you think it's going to be anything you're interested in? Amazon phone? No. No. I got all Robert De Niro for a minute there, my face scrunched. I don't know what happened there, but thank you guys for watching. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to the Android Smith channel if you have not already. And subscribe to my other channel, The Film Junkie, where I do a bunch of movie stuff and funny stuff and vlogs and everything like that. There's also a lot of other stuff to click down there. Social media machines, follow me into the internet. I will guide you through the internet as best as I can. And a couple of websites down there, Gaps Early for your Google Apps. We got autocorrect failness for some laughter. Weekend, guys, I always say, 
check out some autocorrect feelings. And of course, I am co-hosting a podcast called The Random Boot Loop. I don't know if I've ever mentioned the title on here, but yes, it is called The Random Boot Loop. We are four episodes in. The last episode, we didn't have any glitches. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things glitch around me. But yes, check that out too. Link provided down below. Enjoy yourself. Listen to it when you're, I don't know, cleaning the house or, you know, watching... Looking at porn. Whatever you're into, I think you guys are watching anyways. I am David, the Mandroid, and this has been the Mandroid Show. It is kind of interesting to think about. No, it's not interesting at all, because why would I want to imagine somebody out there watching porn and listening to me talk about nerd stuff?